we may need to readjust our expectations for the 2024 NBA draft class. It's been said many times, but this draft seemingly has fewer superstar upside players than in previous years. A prospect or two will rise above the rest and become major names in the league. They always do. The rest of them may just be high-end role players who have a long career as the third or fifth man on a playoff team. It becomes a much more exciting draft once you drop the superstar expectations and view this as a group of players who can impact winning without being the go-to guy. Not many players fit that description better than the 6'9 wing from France, Zachary Riesacher. At 19 years old, Riesacher burst onto NBA radars with JL Board. Riesacher was shooting the ball over 50% from three to start the season, while also being one of Bard's best defenders. Every NBA team looks for players who can space the floor and defend multiple positions, especially ones with Riesacher's size. Riesacher is coming off his best game of the season in a 90-84 loss to Nanterre on Saturday. He finished with 28 points and 6 rebounds while shooting 5-9 from deep. Most importantly, he flashed an aggressiveness that's rarely seen in his game. Performances like these will keep Riesacher at the top of draft boards. The San Antonio Spurs don't need a go-to guy. They have their franchise cornerstone in Victor Wembanyama. They need complementary pieces around Wemby to build a roster that can compete for a championship. It's what makes them one of the best fits for Riesacher, and why they may add another Frenchman to the team on draft night. Zachary Riesacher, 6'9 wing, JL Board, 2023-2024 LNB Pro A Stats, 10.1 points, 0.9 assists, 3.8 rebounds, 43.9% FG, 35.2% 3PT, 74% FT, 58% true shooting. Player comparison, Dorian Finney-Smith. Strengths. Riesacher's shooting is what makes him a top 10 level prospect. In his 17 games of Euro Cup competition, he shot 56.1% from 3 on 3.4 attempts per game. He was scorching the nets before the calendar turned to 2024. Then Riesacher went on a bit of a shooting slump. He shot 35.2% from deep in the LNB Pro A this season. Before he got hot this season, there were legitimate concerns about his shooting coming out of a mixed Nike Hoops Summit performance in 2023. So the question remains, was Riesacher's shooting merely a hot streak, or has he turned a corner with a jump shot? I lean toward the latter. Riesacher has a smooth jumper with a high release point. He has good balance and rhythm in his mechanics. His base can be a bit inconsistent, but that can be rectified with more game speed reps with an NBA team. He's solid on catch and shoot attempts, hitting 40.3% of those looks this season. There isn't much variety to the jumpers that Riesacher makes. He mainly was a spot-up threat for JL Board this season. In fact, Riesacher only took 13 shots off screens this season, according Synergy. He doesn't take a lot of shots off movement nor the bounce. He will flash some high-level shots like an occasional step-back three or a no-dip jumper from the corner. Those shots are tantalizing glimpses into his future as a shooter. His jumper combined with his 6'9 frame are what make him a touted prospect. Riesacher has been compared to Michael Porter Jr. for most of the draft cycle. He doesn't create a fence off the bounce like MP Jaken, but he fits that wing archetype. He's got long arms that help him get to balls defensively. He can get from end to end quickly in the open court and dunk the ball with his solid vertical leaping ability. He's a good rebounder who tries to get to the boards both defensively and offensively. On top of having a good frame, Riesacher has a high feel for the game. He's usually in the correct position defensively, but as most young players do, he can spend too much time watching his man instead of seeing the whole floor. His combination of basketball IQ and length should make him a menace off the ball. On the ball, he's able to stick with dribblers thanks to his speed and length. He moves his feet well for a player of his size and is able to fight through screens with speed. While Riesacher is a bit limited with the ball in his hands, more on that later, he makes some good reads as a passer. It's nothing flashy, but he is willing to make the extra pass. He's smart enough to cut to the open space when it's there. It's apparent that he processes the game at a pretty high level on both ends. Weaknesses. The biggest knock on Riesacher is his inability to create his own shot. He's not a creative scorer and has a hard time getting separation in the half court. 
He's shown very little capability of making shots off the dribble or in the mid-range.